Well, I went into the parts store. I said I needed a brake line. You know, it goes from the caliper to the rear over to the master cylinder. And this is what I got. If your car's a circle, it may work. Or if you stretch it out 25 feet straight, it may work. But cars aren't built that way. Welcome to this Amsoil Tech Tip. That's right, we're talking about brake lines and hoses. What are they? Well, you got your brake lines, which are the hard parts going on the steel frame where it doesn't move, connecting to the hoses, which are the flexible part of the brake systems. There's our brake line right here, and here's our hoses. Now, a lot of people don't realize they're double walled, so you can't see inside. Sometimes they collapse inside, so you're not going to be able to tell. Here's a nice new one. They put lines on there so you don't twist them when you put the brakes on. Gives you a good indication of how to put them on. Well, when it comes to brake lines like this, you're going to have to make connections to the master cylinder, wheel cylinders, and and they accept two types of flares. There's a double flare and there's an ISO flare. Better yet, I can show it to you right there. There's a double flare. Now you're gonna need a special kit to do it. It's kind of a process, but I'll give you an example of what you'd have to do. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and cut your brake line and then ream it out. Take a file, chamfer the edges, make sure it's nice and smooth. And then you're gonna have to have this kit here. This is called a flaring bar. You find out which one fits your line, put it in there, put your flaring adapter on there, and then you use what's called a flaring yoke. You go down, you flare it, pull that out, do it a second time. You're gonna get a good flare that looks like that. And that's massively important. And or you're gonna have what's called an ISO bubble flare, just a different kit. But Len, man, it's all about safety. If I put this flare together and it doesn't work, you're gonna die, I mean, point blank. It breaks our safety items. You have to have safety precautions built into them. Highly important, highly important, and there's no more critical factor, in my opinion, on a vehicle than making sure that brake system has safety and redundancy both built into it. It's, an, it's, a, it's a theory that we apply across the board at Amsoil. No matter what product you pick, we use that same approach, where we have safety and redundancy built in, and a lot of times, it's, I like to add in, it's a little bit of retention of fun as well when you get to some of the power sports product. We build in all these different factors. If we know that the environment is especially hot, we build for it. Um, we know that you know, certain situations call for a certain type of formulation. We test and then we add for that. So we create the worst environmental conditions possible in our labs, then in real life and field trials, to be sure that the products have been thoroughly tested and that they're safe, they're not gonna hurt the engine, and then they provide a level of redundancy for people that are gonna do things to them that they may not be designed for. Let them put you to the test. People do not change their oils as much as they should. Right, we understand that, which is why our signature series products can go up to 25,000 miles. What about the V-Twins, inherently a hot motor? Yeah, we understand that as well, which is why we've tested beyond 300 degrees. Take it from the expert but you can go to amsoil.com. You can see all that rigorous testing and specifications for all their products. You know they're gonna exceed your expectations.